Hi, I'm Mims Davis. I'm the Member of Parliament for Mid-Sussex and I wanted to talk to you this recess about what I've been up to and what's coming up in Parliament. But I think we need to start with what lots of people have been worried about and have been emailing me about. And this is the Free School Meals Opposition Day debate. And I want to make it very clear that the government resolved to help the most vulnerable people in this society broader than those currently on free school meals because you may have lost your job you may have lost hours you may need extra help right now because of COVID-19 so we resolved to support people locally with an additional 63 million pounds which locally in West Sussex means an extra 700 thousand pounds to help people and also to help the COVID impact directly in Mid-Sussex. The local council here has had £2.04 million extra. So please be assured if you're worried about anyone in the community, if you need extra help, our casework team can help you, can signpost you to the additional support, which is there also in the benefit system. And I'm also a DWP minister, and that means that I support people through uh, job centres and getting people back into work and helping them. And today I spoke to Pink News Futures, to the LGBTQ young people who were worried about their futures and how they can get on the jobs ladder. So we spoke about Kickstart, we talked about the new up and coming uh, youth hub in Crawley there's going to be one in Medway soon also uh, down in Hastings helping all our young people and I've spoken last week to people affected by the uh, impact of the defence industry people really worried about what that means to, to their livelihoods we take all of this extremely seriously and when we get back into Westminster the agriculture bill comes back once again many people have been writing to me about our food standards our future trade deals I want to say very clearly that the Food Standards Agency is there to protect what's on our plate. It's really important that we make sure that we protect uh, farmers through our next stage of trade deals and the government's been really clear about this. So if you've got any questions or queries, do use the contact form on my website and hopefully that's given you an insight of what I'm up to later this week. Virtually some more local surgeries, my casework team helping people day in, day out. But I want you to be assured that the COVID-19 impact we take extremely seriously with £200 billion extra put into the economy to support and help people and protect jobs. And we're determined to do that in Mid-Sussex and beyond.